are you bowen to you all out there grade 11 science chapter number three is in front of you as per the sri lankan government school syllabus that is right we will talk about mixture today for the first time and it's going to be a introduction to you about the subject mixture at the end of this session you will come to know what is a mixture exactly so it's not a big great deal to understand mixture we are explaining you what is exactly a mixture in this beautiful session let's get into the subject without further delay How air is mixture of several substances? That's a question. Now let's understand that one. Let us pay our attention to the composition of the air around us. Look around. While you're sitting and listening to this video session, you are looking at the air now. Air is composed of gases like, you don't know there are gases out there. The nitrogen, oxygen, argon, carbon dioxide, water vapor and very small particles such as dust. But you can't see those things. Those are coming together and forming the air. That is called air is a mixture of several substances just like these in front of you. Therefore, if some matter contains two or more substances, such matter is referred to as mixtures. Look at that. Helium and two oxygen. The other side, the water. Now we have already learned from the previous classes also elements such as helium, oxygens and compounds like water are pure substances. Those are pure substances. But mixtures are not pure substances. So, this helium and oxygen and water, those are not mixtures. Those are pure substances. So mixtures are not pure substances. Therefore, if some matter contains two or more substances, such a matter is referred to as mixture. Something like, if you see this element, that's copper and compound like salt, sodium chloride. And mixture is something very similar to jelly beans. You can see a lot of different kinds of jelly beans together. That's a mixture. Natural environment mostly contains mixtures, not pure substances. This is something for you to understand. The natural environment where you live mostly contains what? Mixtures, not pure substances. Air, soil, sea water, river water that is in front of you and rocks around us are example for all these mixtures. The things that we drink such as cool drinks, fruit drinks, tea, coffee and food items such as ice cream, yogurt and fruit salad are also mixtures for your information that is in front of you. Coca-Cola, Sprite and Coke and some juices those are all called mixtures as well. Now we have an activity in front of you. To do this activity you need hydrated copper sulphate. That is a component. That's right and naphthalene, moth poles. That is another component. We need a motor and pestle to crush this together. That is right. Method is take some copper sulphate and naphthalene bowls into a motor and grind them together with the pestle into a powder and mix well. Now you have to transfer the powder onto a piece of paper and observe. And you see the color difference is also there. That is becoming a mixture now because copper sulfate and naphthalene bowls are together now. Now there is an activity that is connected to the previous activity where we mixed the copper naphthalene bowls. That's right, together with copper sulfate. Here we want to have two beakers just like this. We need a glass rod, a funnel a filter paper and hand lens. What we are exactly going to do here? Right. 
transfer the mixture made in activity 3.11 above into small 100 ml breaker beaker add about 50 ml of water into it and stir well once you are stirring it it will mix and it will dissolve that is right and you can obtain a color like that then place a filter paper into a glass funnel and filter this solution into another beaker just like that now you're filtering it but once you filter it you will see something on that filter paper okay now you can see in this image also you can notice there is white color something on that filter paper you are allowing the residue on the filter paper to dry and observe with a hand lens observe the filtrate as well since the solution is blue in color the substances that dissolve in water is copper sulfate from this activity you would have understood that the residue on the filter paper is naphthalene powder so this is naphthalene powder on that filter and the copper sulfate had gone separately activity clarifies another feature of mixture that is even when the components are in a state of being mixed their chemical nature remain unchanged in other words the identity of the components constituting a mixture does not change even in the mixture did you see that copper sulfate and you're mixing that one along with the naphthalene bowl but once you filtered it what happened you can separate it and you can separate the naphthalene bowl powder form and the redness the copper sulfate is going separately so you had separated it in some way they call it moreover the above activity shows that the components in a mixture can be separated by physical method. Filtration is an activity of physical method. Here what we are using is a filtration method to separate those two. In a mixture you can do that one. Remember it. Okay. So thus mixtures can be defined as follows. Mixtures are matter consisting of two or more components which are not chemically combined and can be separated by physical method the things what we have to take a big note is this mixtures are matter consisting of two or more components which are not chemically combined it is not chemically combined and can be separated by physical methods those are called mixtures so the definition is very very clear and the activity we did had even also given you some information that those are not chemically combined we combined it in the motor and then after that we also separated it we also separated by physical method there are some good example for that one cement motor that is a mixture consists of sand cement and water and when you're talking about cake, sugar, flour, water, coloring and butter coming as component. When you're talking about well water, water in the well, water, dissolved oxygen is there, dissolved carbon dioxide and various salts are there. In the sea water, it will be more component. Water dissolved oxygen and salt such as sodium chloride, magnesium chloride, magnesium sulfate and calcium sulfate will be available in that. So you can definitely come to know the mixture and the component difference. Two or more components coming together to form the mixture but it is not chemically combined and you can separate it with a physical method. Well. When considering mixture, it is important that how well the components are mixed. Understand this thoroughly with the help of the following examples. I am going to give you some examples like when making colors by mixing paints. Application of the paint will not give uniform colors unless they are mixed well. Before giving paint, you are mixing that paint very nicely. Otherwise, your wall will have a different color in different spots. You can test it and see. If the components used to make cake are not mixed well by your mom, different parts of the cake taste differently. 
also the rising will be different in a different part also so your dad will shout the cake doesn't taste same everywhere it's funny right so you have to mix the cake ingredients very nicely or else the medical property of tablets capsules or liquid mixture is not even in an older part in the components are not mixed very well in the medicines like preparing tablets capsules or liquid mixture is not going to be same also so when producing medicines you have to mix those ingredients for the tablets very well also now investigating into more instances like the above examples is a very important thing so you have to do this one and you do some investigations like that let us do an activity 3.13 and 3.14 in the book to study how the components are distributed in a mixture in our next session till i meet you with those activities we came to know that what is a mixture and how those are combined together and can we separate it or not that we understood with a definition bye bye take care of yourself until i meet you again in another beautiful session as this